God Hits. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So guys, I want to talk to you today about the power of the pause. Something that I think is very underrated is when God tells us to pause or possibly even stop when we are in the midst of doing something that we believe is high level. We believe is exactly what he called us to do everything. It can almost feel like he can give us a divine directive and he will tell us to pause or stop right in the middle of it. Have you ever had that experience? Because I have had that experience more times than I can remember. And it wasn't until probably the 50th time throughout my whole life when I was finally able to realize like, wait a minute, this is not always a bad thing. Oftentimes, this is something that's setting me up for something greater. Sidebar, y'all, these recordings this week, you will hear birds chirping and things outside because I decided to just go outside. It is so gorgeous. I could not just let this day go without me just enjoying the sun and just kind of talking to you guys from this vantage point. So I apologize if it gets, you know, a little active in the background. But catch the message, y'all. It's still a good message. <laughs> so anyway, I realize that the power of the pause is quite a game changer. I think that for many of you right now, it is it is something that is causing you to question your ability to hear God and is causing you to question if you are doing the right thing in your life. Okay, now that's what I'm thinking, but I'm going to tell you what the Holy Spirit told me to give you. And I'm actually getting this download as I'm talking to you. It was not planned. Many of you are pausing because God wants to work on your patience. Many of you are pausing because God wants to work on the problem. And many of you are pausing because God wants you to work on your perspective. Okay. You will know which one is specific to you. But the thing that is most important for anybody who is experiencing some type of pause is that there is power in it. You're like, okay, Ro, what do you mean? What are you talking about this power in the pause? What you will understand sometimes is that imagine you are, I'll give you an example, right? Imagine you're at like a cookout or something, right? And, you know, the music is bumping and somebody got the radio, not a DJ, but the music is bumping as the radio going. And then somebody comes in and they're like, oh, y'all, guess what I got from the store? You're like, oh, what? And they're like, oh, we can't hear you. They'll just press pause, right? Well, the cool thing about you being able to press pause is that some, when something new came in and interrupted, you had the ability to pause the same song that you were enjoying, hear whatever this thing was they came and interrupted with, and when they were done, you hit pause and you hop right back to doing what you were doing. The part that gets a lot of people in the trick bag is when the pause is happening, you forget that once God completes the thing that he is trying to do in that moment that interrupted the moment that you were in is that he will give you the ability to go right back and complete and finish what you were doing. What's happening is many people are so frantic because things have not been going the way they're used to them going. It is causing you to question. It is causing you to think, my God, like what is going to happen now? Some of y'all have completely forgotten that because God made you hit the pause button for so long. Hear me out. I'm about to set somebody free right here. Some of you forgot that you hit pause. Because the thing that came in and God said, okay, look, pause that. Let me show you this. You've been dealing with that quote unquote, let me show you this for so long now. You completely forgot that you paused the other thing. You have become inundated with the thing that came in and interrupted. Do not become inundated with the interruptions. My God, do not do that. Do not get, do not become inundated with the interruptions because what you don't understand is when God said okay we've had enough of that already and it's time for us to get to the next thing you don't want to be so, so stuck on the thing that God completely intended to be temporary that you are not tapping in to the thing that God wants you to continue you're not tapping in and remembering like oh wait a minute I have to pause and get back to this other thing which was something that you were more than likely enjoying or something that you were developing in hopes for a certain outcome so please do not misunderstand the power of the pause. One more thing I need to tell you guys about power in this space. 
I have been talking extensively about this scripture for years now. I, I literally probably y'all what? If you really listen to me, somebody get in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. Y'all, somebody's cutting grass, so forgive me. I hope it's not going too bad. But, y'all, if you go back, I've been talking a lot about Ephesians 3.20. I'm literally going to link my journal, my Ephesians 3, uh, 3.20 journal in the comments. I want you to get it. It's something about the power that working within you. So when I say the power to pause, I'm going to connect some dots with some of y'all who are really serious about getting everything that God has for you in this season and in this hour. Listen to me. The power that working within you, <clears throat> excuse me, the power that working within you, it is important that you understand that that is your power of connection with the Lord that always needs to be developed. Okay, so hear me out. Many of you are encountering an interruption in the midst of your pause, but God has put his power in that pause. So pay attention to whatever you feel is interrupting you, whatever made you stop, pay attention to that thing. And I want you to make sure you say, God, am I activating your power in this? Is there something in me that I need to cultivate? As a result of this thing that you just presented to me. What is this thing that you are trying to show me? Because let me tell y'all. God does not do anything for nothing. Everything has a meaning, a reason, a season, a lifetime. Everything. Now, granted, it might not be that deep. And it might not be that serious. But if God brings it into the fold, it is absolutely necessary. I do not want you to get so inundated with the interruption that you are missing the power of the pause. And that power is centered around the same power that's mentioned that work it within you. And that power is what you need to access the exceedingly, the abundantly, the above all you could ever ask or think. Catch that. This is, quick, this is a quick little message for y'all. I hope that this um, blesses you and I hope that it gives you some insight. Please like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. I really, really appreciate that, y'all. And y'all, get my journals, my books. I have so many offerings for y'all. And again, I'm so excited about hooking up this Patreon. going to be so much dope stuff and topics in that area that I want you to connect to. Okay? I want you to connect to those things. So please... Make sure that you hit the links in my description and get all of the goodies, the free ebooks and the series and the whole thing. So stay tuned. I have a lot more of these coming up this week and I hope that you all have a blessed day on Wired to Inspire. I hope you are too. Oh God hits.